I hope everybody had a great weekend. In America, we celebrated Memorial Day, which is a holiday for remembrance of all the men and women who have sacrificed their lives for this country in all branches of the military. Myself being a veteran and knowing people that have passed, it's a very somber reminder of where I'm from. Whether your country celebrates a holiday like this, I salute anyone that would stand up for their country to protect all of its citizens. Now that being said, today's video is showcasing my daily routine because you want to make sure you at least get everything done that is daily, especially when you don't have enough time in the day. Hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell ding ding thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go baby. Tip of the day. Every time you go to sleep, you have an opportunity to grow your account in many different ways. This could be a good time to get your 1,000 gathering done, or if you've bought the pass, you get your 2,000 gathering. You can do this while you sleep. One less daily thing to think about. However, if there is an event going on where it's about killing creatures, this is a time when you get onto your summoner that you haven't leveled yet. And you can either A, go to your creature book to max out these, or B, you go farm some 4-star runes, or you farm some 5-star runes for disassembling or combining or whatever. You'll not only get XP for your summoner, but you'll also be getting event pieces and also magic core. The more you know. You wake up in the morning from overnight farming. You already have your playtime reward done. Now, depending on what you do in the morning, you might lay in bed for a while before you get out of bed. You might go sit on the toilet. I don't know, but this is what I do. I go let the dogs out and get a coffee. I got kids, I gotta make sure they're ready for the day. So I get all of my AFK things done. If I haven't done the gathering cap for the day, I will do that. Make sure to get all my thousand gathering done. And what I typically do to choose what I need to mine. I go look at my professions first, which for you, this could be master, this could be alchemy, or this could be blacksmithing. You go into whatever profession you're trying to level up. And it's like, okay, I need 90 more fluorite ingots. So maybe I'll auto gather that for the day. You're gonna need a ton of sapphire, so that's a good option as well. Go into blacksmithing and see what you're gonna need for that to get to the third awakening for your six star gear. Everyone requires mining there. You also need a bunch of solid lumber, so branches are not a bad option to farm. Sturdy tree trunks, or even normal branches. The other AFK thing you can do is the repeat requests, which you just choose the right repeat request for you. Now, depending on how strong you are and how much time you have, say you get back from making a coffee or a poop or whatever, you can then do your Karos dungeons. While you're doing a repeat request, you can do the quick battles of the dungeons that you are strong enough for. But to save time, quick battles are really good. And you don't have to fight the RNG of the actual dungeon if your team is not 100%. If your power level is strong enough, awakening, max skill, runes, effect books, whatever then you don't have to worry about if your team is 100% or not. So it's a good way to use it while you're doing repeat requests or auto mining, gathering, whatever. If I had the time or I wanted to save quick battle tickets, I could just manual these no problem. Once I'm done with all my auto gathering, repeat requests, Karos, Dungeons, Path of Growth. But once you're done with all that, then you switch to your main summoner. Next, you go into Special Expedition and do the dailies here, you got two entries daily. And make sure to do all my arenas for the day. Depending on the time, I'll manual it. However, what you can do is just go into the ones where they are quick battles for sure. And once you've done that, every 30 minutes, you can just refresh the list. So you can just save time, because we all have busy lives. So depending if I have more arena tickets to do, then I'll just keep checking this like every 30 minutes. Then I go into Party Dungeon and do all the raids. And then I will do one Elite Raid of all of these daily. Yes, to maximize rewards, you can do three on Monday. 
and then do the support run daily. That would maximize your rewards the most. Once I finish all those, I will then do rupture and again seal one a day. So once you've done all these things, that means that your daily missions are all done. Do this daily and your weekly missions will be all done. Only other things to do daily, craft your mystical scroll, check on the exchange pieces shop for any pieces that you may need, do your guild requests, and these are the most essential things to do daily. Just make sure you are aware of what events are going on so you don't miss out on any rewards. Same with the megaphone, make sure there's no events that you need to complete outside of the game on their website browser, which I hate that so much. Just put it in the game. So really now you could technically log off the game if you're not worried about it. Although again, there's other things to do, such as AFK farm. There's also Galagos on a two week counter, Trial of Ascension normal and hard mode on a one month counter. All the spires floors, which I am slacking on, and all of the challenges as well, which I am slacking on. This is a huge power level boost. I know, I'm sorry. You got Brawl Arena and also Battlefield. Those are timed content. Do those if you are free during that time. Same with field events, which for me personally is the hardest thing for me to do. And then hero area, all the quests on every single summoner, tons of gold, tons of element and gravestones. And then you have the timer for all the bosses in each region. It's a lot to do if you can be on the game all the time. But this video is just to show you what the daily stuff is that really like low maintenance type of account. Get those done daily and you can still progress. That's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you the daily routine and what the bare minimum is to keep your account maintained. Because we're all human. We got stuff to do. We can't be on the game 24-7. If you like all my videos and content, sub, like, ding, ding, bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.